to, to be transparent with the community, the Eau Claire Area School District has set up a dashboard to publicly track COVID-19 cases within the district. Our own Evan Hong spoke to a local school official about its launch and her reaction to recent findings. After many requests for the Eau Claire Area School District to regularly release COVID-19 information, the district launched its COVID-19 online dashboard to the public. In collaboration with the Eau Claire City County Health Department, the dashboard tracks positive cases among students and staff within the district. Recent results show a small number of students and staff have tested positive since the first day of school, while a significantly higher number were asked to quarantine. For the week of September 6th through the 12th, 90 students were in quarantine, while surprisingly only one student had tested positive for COVID-19. The following week, there were 12 positive cases among students, but the number in quarantine rose to 158, which officials explain with two reasons. The number of students and staff quarantined come from being close contacts to others that are infected in the community. So it's not just based off of our case of the student or the staff member in the, in the school. The second part of that is um, quarantine is also when we have a student or a staff member coming to work or to school with COVID-like symptoms and we're saying to them, you don't look well, you're telling us you don't feel well, you have COVID-like symptoms, we need to send you home. Zhang says there has been minimal contact and spread of COVID-19 within the district and a majority of students and staff in quarantine contracted the virus away from school. After viewing early data from this week, Zhang says she expects the numbers to decrease and she hopes the dashboard gives clarity about how well the district is preventing the spread of COVID-19 so far. All right, thanks, Evan. The dashboard updates every Monday around noon, and if you'd like to check back, you can find a link at WQOW.com.